Yeah, Sandra, that agony is not over. What a sad week for this family. The aunt communicated with me by email to say they are planning a funeral, but certainly this is a family with a lot of support trying to change and turn this sadness into safety measures. The petition drive lives on the website change.org and today was getting really brisk support. Started yesterday, barely a full 24 hours after a search team located the college student's body tangled in brush and debris at a catch basin in the Red Cedar River on the campus of Michigan State University. After an extensive search, MSU police and public safety and our law enforcement partners recovered a body in the Red Cedar River at approximately 12.30 p.m. in Lansing. The goal of 10,000 signatures, nearly nine-tenths of the way there, just by this afternoon. The ask is that MSU erect signage and fencing to warn of the dangers of the terrain and to also make it more difficult to gain direct access to the water and its steep drop-offs. This location was approximately one and a half miles downriver of where Brendan Santel was last seen on campus. The 18-year-old Grand Valley State student was visiting friends at MSU when he disappeared October 29th last year. There had always been a great deal of focus on the Red Cedar River, including numerous searches. But it wasn't until Friday, nearly three months after Brendan disappeared, his body was found about a mile and a half away from where he was last seen alive. The river is part of a path often traveled by students getting to and from Grand River, dorms, and classrooms. In terms of a university response, there is none at this point, and calls to the communication office went to voicemail. But keep in mind, this is a petition that's been started, and we don't know if these changes to the river have ever even been on the radar of the university in the past or if there would ever be any pushback for any reason. But for the students and parents who are signing the petition, they want to make sure future action for this part of campus is taken. Yeah, and I, I do want to make sure that it's very clear that this is not a petition that can push action, but certainly the more people who sign it, there shows an interest in action in changing some of uh, at least that terrain or making it less accessible. And that's what the family and friends and supporters are hoping to get the university's attention on this matter, on this particular piece of real estate. Sandra. It sounds like they're getting that support already. All right. Thank you so much, Paula.